Hello and welcome back guys to Push Hub. My name is Piyush and this video is going to be about the Flutter update 1.20. I'll tell you all about the updates that were included, the improvements that were made to Flutter and the widget that has been introduced to the Flutter SDK. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and let's get into the video. So as you can see, this is the flutter.dev, the official Flutter website. You can go to the update blog from right here or the link that I'll be putting in the description. So let's go to this blog post. So right out of the box, you can see there are performance improvements, mobile autofills and a new widget and a few more things. So I'm only going to tell you about the most interesting things that I found very interesting. So the first thing is that they have improved the animations by using the SK SL warmup page which will help you buffer the animation while loading it in the first time and then that will decrease the jankiness of the animation and the next important thing is this autofill for mobile text fields i think this is one of the most interesting uh, update we can say and it was actually the one of the most requested flutter features as you can see so this will allow you and me to improve the experience as you can use all of the saved data on your phone to autofill the all the required fields on the flutter form while registering login and anything else you might have so this is one very interesting topic so the next widget is actually the interactive viewer which helps to pan zoom drag and drop events on your app this will actually be helpful in uh, web applications as you can resize the widgets and you can make your applications responsive that, like you make it in html and css so this will make the flutter web even more ready for production the next is the updates a uh, few ui updates to the uh, material slider range slider time picker and date picker so these are the different updates to all these the major updates are to the calendar picker and the time picker so you can actually now select a range of dates that will be helpful for um, booking apps and request apps or something and the time uh, picker has been updated completely and it, it it looks so much better than before and i think you will be enjoying it including it in your applications this was one thing the next thing is responsive licenses page which is uh, not very interesting but it is actually important if you want to publish your apps to uh, play store you need to have uh, you need to include all the plugins and packages licenses in your application itself to tell them that you are using it and to give them the credits so this uh, licenses space ac uh, actually makes the job easier and uh, much more aesthetic uh, with your app which will help you make the app seamless and the next thing is that uh, that the dart dev tools have been imported to visual studio code as well which will help you to improve your productivity with the flutter development as you don't have uh, as now you can directly access the dart dev tools from vs code itself you don't have to open another window and check for all the performance issues and uh, widget trees etc so this is one very important um you can say update the next few updates which i don't really um, i'm not really excited about or i haven't used much are update to network tracking which will help you in websocket profiling that helps to with api and your web app a um, nifty little uh, tweak is updating import statements on file rename so if you move your files to some other folder or out of a folder now flutter will automatically rename those imports and exports to um, to the path where now the file resides which will save you a lot of time um, because you don't have to manually now go into all the project uh, files and change the path accordingly there's one more small update that is quite helpful so this is about the um, sidebar which shows you the colors and the icons so now it includes uh, the color uh, swatches even from RGBs and ARGBs, which will be helpful for to visualize what uh, color you're actually using. And basically that was all. So this was the major updates, the main points of the updates. And um, one more thing was uh, Flutter has actually accepted more than 3000 
pull requests uh, coming from all the community around the world that is really a big thing because flutter is growing in popularity day by day and just 3 months before we had 50000 flutter apps and now we have around 90000 flutter apps on the uh, google play store which is a great deal so that was it for the video guys i have tried to give you most important updates and the best updates that i could find it was mostly from the um, official blog itself because it has good documentation if you want to read it for yourself i'll have the link in the description you can check it out right now don't forget to subscribe and like the video because i'll be getting all the updates and interesting stuff that has been happening in flutter uh, community so stick around and i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye